the lengths they'll go to in Swindon to avoid parking on a double yellow line. But however exotic the town's bars, there's certainly no avoiding the soft drinks, at least not when there are cameras about. Hotshot Jan Arga Fjortov, a new signing Laurie Sanchez, this week out on the source and out to keep Swindon Town afloat in the Premier League. Seeing the way we are playing now, we're playing with more confidence. But at the end of the day, it's just results to count. I mean, you can say we deserve more and we should have beaten them, we should have beaten them. But then the football is quite simple. You just have to score more goals than the, the opposition team. And we haven't done it enough this season. When you come up from a lower division, it takes a while to believe that you're good enough. And I don't think Swindon believe that until perhaps the Christmas time. Jan didn't start scoring until after Christmas. And once that belief came, the, their results have been good. And their second half performance, you say, that have mirrored that in the first half of the season, they would be in a safe position now. Laurie Sanchez may be learning about Swindon, but he's not got a lot to learn about the wine trade since back up the M4 in Reading, he owns a bar of his own. Now back in the Thames Valley after nine years playing the long ball game at Wimbledon and slowly coming back down to earth with Swindon Town. I'm enjoying it. I mean, sometimes I'm sort of turning my back on things when, you know, the play's behind me, expecting the ball to be knocked forward and they're knocking it to my back. But, I mean, yeah, it's different, but it's enjoyable, I must admit. The bad news for Swindon is that Panache is still proving no substitute for points. The good news, though, is that Jan Argafjortov is suddenly scoring goals. 11 in his last 10 games, to be exact. And that, just as he was about to quit English football and head home to Norway. I was very close. I found my house in Norway. I, I went to a travel agency to, to, to see when the ferry is going back because I w wanted to take my car back. So it was very, very close. And then you start scoring and you suddenly say, please don't go, Jan, please don't go, and all that kind of things. And usually for a striker, if you score goals, you're the big hero. If not, you're nothing. It's Arsenal next up this weekend, followed by Wednesday, live on Monday. And all that after consecutive games against Newcastle, Manchester United and Blackburn. And for Fjordhoff, there's the World Cup to worry about too, though he's trying to put all that to the back of his mind, despite the fact that it's all anyone in Norway wants to talk to him about. It doesn't matter how I'm doing here. They, when the journalist phoned me up, they just said, oh, congratulations to your goal, but what about World Cup? And You, you almost get a bit uh, uh, bored about it because you say, we have so many challenges to do here. So for the moment, at least, Mexico, Italy and Ireland are all on hold. All three countries doubtless hoping the Fjortov will catch a cold before the summer. All of Swindon doubtless hoping that the hot spell will continue, at least until May. Fjortoft has, has come in at Swindon and after a, a terribly sticky start when everyone thought he was a waste of money and pack him off back to Scandinavia, he's come through now and he, he is, has become um, the one chance I think Swindon have of, of getting themselves out of an incredible corner. Um, he's scoring goals regularly. Um, Swindon obviously need to tighten up at the back. If they're, they're going to have a, a realistic chance of staying in this division, they have to uh, win three or four games and, and put in some very, very tight defensive performances. Sheffield Wednesday not really got anything to play for. Um, they've been a nearly team all season, all right? They've had one or two injuries, but they looked aside who were capable of maybe finishing in the top four. I don't think that's possible for them, although it should be a good game because both teams do like to get the ball down and play. Swindon, a terrific footballing team. I'm, I'm sure Sheffield Wednesday will want to test their football against Swindon and prove themselves a better. But I just think coming to this, this very dangerous situation, um, Sheffield Wednesday are facing a team who are in a corner. They, they need to fight and scrap and ally that to their footballing skills. So that's why I just think uh, the extra impetus and drive that uh, Swindon will have will get them a result. I fancy that Swindon will actually win. I think they'll beat Sheffield Wednesday, especially having you know, the four big games they've just had. They'll see it. good relief against Sheffield Wednesday and they'll fancy themselves to win, and I think they will. Empty ground Swindon between the bottom club by some seven points and Sheffield Wednesday. Brief highlights now with Graham Lloyd, your commentator. Walker. Nyholt brought down well. Luke Nyholt! Oh, tremendous shot! Terrific save by Pressman. Nice ball through to Sanchez. He's onside! Larry Sanchez! Oh! Worthington. Sheffield Wednesday finding their players at will. Inside. Bart Williams could be on for a shot here. Good effort! Oh, he's hit the bar!
Piotr. No handball, and Sheridan quick to send Bright through. Chance for Bright with Hammond being out of his goal. Well tackled back by Paul Bodin. Sanchez's control really letting him down. Sheridan to Nielsen. Watson and Hammond again to the rescue. Looks like he took a knock in the head. But it looks as if Nicky Hammond has made his last save of this match. Aims for Scott. Well won by Scott. Fjortoft! Oh! Worthington. Right. And it's a goal claimed by Watson. And poor old Paul Hill. Lovely cross by Worthington. Right. Slipped his marker, and there was Watson. Bodin trying his luck from this side of the pitch. Kilkline, Pressman's header. Horlock. Oh! It was Kevin Horlock shot, and Keith Scott scooping it over the bar. Same old story for Swindon, now nine games without a win and only five games left to play.